What's up, Dub Nation? This is the first ever real daily type news segment that I've done, and it's not really daily. That's why I'm going to call it the Dub Nation Digest. I've done some of these in written form on our website, but now I, I really want to go full bore into uh, YouTube videos. Besides, the uh, visual experience is a little bit better. So I'm going to try this new format. I hope you like it. And it's going to be pretty frequent because there's tons and tons of news happening that's related to the Warriors and then tangentially sometimes with the NBA itself and how it could affect uh, the Warriors someday in the future. So why don't we pull up this screen in the background that I've already got set up. You're used to this format that you see on our live chats. And I'm just going to go through these one by one and hopefully we'll end up with about 10 minutes of news for you. And trust me, there's just nobody else is doing this to this level of detail. And I want to also start pumping our forthcoming Discord channel. It's going to have all of this stuff right in real time. And that will be part of our website. We'll come back to our website tab here in a minute. But uh, to subscribe to this Substack site costs $5 a month, although you can read most of the articles, if not all of them, for free. I will offer the uh, Discord that has all of these news items real time, pretty close to real time, for uh, the $5 paid subscription. It's kind of like a bonus. But then, heck, you could look at it as, oh, I want uh, access to the Discord and I'll pay you $5 for that through the Substack subscription and I'll get that that way. Look at it whatever way you want, but I think it's going to be worth it because those of you that want to be, you know, have that um, attached to your veins <laughs> as far as Warriors news or NBA news or cool stuff come down the pipeline. It's going to be on our Discord. All right, let's get started. Without further ado, this was a few days ago. APEC is happening in San Francisco. If you don't know what that is, you can kind of just Google it a little bit. But this um, is a little bit of a post here uh, from San Francisco Standard, which is one of the smaller news sites in San Francisco. But looks like Steve Kerr said hello to Joe Biden. Wow. That's pretty neat. So just a cool little visual right there. Uh, by the way, APEC is causing all sorts of havoc as far as traffic downtown. And I, I read an article in the San Francisco Chronicle where some of the uh, local stores uh, are experiencing 50% drop in revenue because of the high security with that. So uh, unfortunately, it's good and bad. You can read all about that in the San Francisco Chronicle. Now, a couple days ago, before the first game against OKC on Thursday, during the daytime, Arkansas Next released their interview with Moses Moody. And uh, I thought one awesome quote that he had here is right here. Pay attention to the people who try to teach you new things, Moses said. Pay attention to the way people treat you. Often people say, nobody really tells me how they feel, but you should just pay attention and they'll show you. And I thought, oh man, I could apply that to what I do here with Let's Go Warriors. I try and teach people how to, honestly, how to live life in a positive manner, how to have gratitude and appreciation. And so we approach the Warriors, as those of you who are familiar with what I do here, especially during the Manning cast uh, live game chats. And we're going to have one. It's 4.46 p.m. as I record this right now. I'm, I'm really uh, cutting it close. But um, the Warriors will have uh, the their matchup against OKC, the, the second of two in a row. And that will happen at 5.30. So I've got exactly 44 minutes to finish this and upload it. I hope I make it. All right, so that's what I try and do here at Let's Go Warriors. And um, so I, I want people to have curiosity about the team rather than outrage. 
and outrage is all over the internet, 95% of it, 95% of your daily lives, if not at least 80% has some form of negativity in it. And, and I get it, it's hard. So that's why um, I think we can actually quite honestly change the role, change the world. I'm sorry. I think we here at Let's Go Warriors together, we can we can make a difference in the world by being curious instead of outraged. So if Corey Joseph is out there playing and you're kind of like, why is Corey Joseph playing right now? He looks so un unathletic and he's bricking shots or whatnot. You know, I get that. I get that. The the eye test. He's not passing the eye test. But literally two days ago, I said, well, you know, we just signed Corey Joseph. And what are we going to do? Renege on our uh, pre-sign meeting when we were recruiting him. We were saying, oh, you're going to back up Steph, CP, and then it's you. So I know Brandon Pajemski's playing like crazy, but like we need to keep Corey Joseph happy. So that's, you know, one reason possibly why Corey Joseph is getting so many minutes. So we kind of approach everything from a curious point of view. All right. So this is all for his Motivate One Foundation. That's right here. Moses launched Motivate One, a foundation. And that's how he did the basketball camp in Little Rock. And Clay Thompson showed up for that, so on and so forth. We have that, actually. The video is on our channel if you go search for it. I thought this was really cool to have Clay outside the uh, in Thrive City up on the main screen. That was kind of neat. Uh, really, really cool photo there. I just, I just thought it was nice. I didn't know if you saw this, but uh, Jock Peterson was at the game and he was very happy with Brandon Pajemski's play. So let's keep on going through these. Guy Santos scored his first bucket in the NBA. In case you missed it. And then he went on Twitter at 10.09 p.m. after the game to go, nobody can explain that feeling. And also said that in Portuguese so that his Brazilian fans would understand him. Now, here's something I'm going to take a little bit from our Discord. This was a few days ago. I'm not going to reveal where I got this video, but it's Clay Thompson about five hours before the OKC Thunder game. Now, did this... It's like a four second video. Now, did did it help? I guess not, but you gotta try, right? You gotta try and break out of your slump. But obviously he had a rough game two nights ago. Hope it he breaks out of it tonight. Now, back here, this is from uh, a screenshot of the broadcast of DPOY Mond on Instagram, my buddy Charlie. He's got this screenshot, free Draymond, little thing, little banner in the back. And if you look closely, it's just eight pieces of paper, eight, uh, eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper on its side. Ingenious, ingenious. And I love that. And uh, I should tell you about my free Draymond. Uh, article um and uh yeah let me let me open up another window because i messed that up i didn't put it right there um so i need to open a new tab a uh, new tab let's go warriors and this is my basically free draymond article in case you missed it now am i going to have all the links in the description not this time because i'm trying to hurry up get this out before tip off but uh, you just go to our website and find it right there. And this I go into detail. And it's also on our website, uh, on our channel too. I did this video right here. All right. So free Draymond, people. And I mean from a discriminatory standpoint. If you read the article, you know what I mean. Uh, Lester Quinones had a birthday. And the G League team was at Chase Center. Uh, I think this was uh, two days ago. So it was before the game. And they sung happy birthday. So let's listen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
Just us. There's Dick Kerr. Nicholas Kerr. Steve's son and the current head coach of Santa Cruz Warriors, Looney. Kavon Looney is excited to be part of the Invisalign crew. He is now endorsing Invisalign. And the awesome part is, listen to this part. He's going to keep his signature gap. And I joked around on the comments. I said, Looney. Excited to start the Invisalign, the number one doctor recommended brand. I said, Looney, be sure to tell Joe to, to remind him to keep that gap when you, when they build your statue. Only Invisalign can do that. You know, they're super customizable. Uh, they say my treatment plan is going to take about six months. So I'm excited. You know, six months, I'm going to be you know, shining and I won't stop smiling. So excited to be part of the 15 million smiles. Wow. Good for you, Looney. That's funny. He's in direct competition with Draymond. Draymond does the, uh, I forgot the name of it, Direct Smile or something. It has Smile in the name of it. Speaking of Draymond, Marcus Thompson with uh, an in-depth athletic article. The moment I scroll this, the athletic login page will come on. So I'm just going to read off some awesome quotes that were in there. First of all, uh, after the loss to the Thunder the other night, Marcus Thompson said that the Warriors uh, cornered off or cordoned off their weight room and practice court and had a had a team meeting. Uh, Draymond wasn't there, but guess who was there? Steph Curry and uh, yellow hoodie. And they were huddled in the, on the court in the middle with Steph Curry. Chris Paul was in it. Jonathan Kaminga, Gary Payton II. So this is eyes and ears from a guy that has locker room access. And there's a weight room right next to the locker room at, at Chase Center. Looney said, I, I wouldn't say that I'm worried. I guess you could say I was worried a little bit because you can't be losing games like this at home. I think we've got enough to be good, but we got to figure it out. And then Gary Payton, we've got his back. And we're going to hold him down until he gets back. Sources in the locker room said Green apologized and displayed contrition. He told the team his intentions were pure, protecting his teammate, but he took it too far. Looney said his voice, he helps us make adjustments a lot. When things are going right, he's one of the best basketball minds in the league. So he's seen things and he's able to adapt and tell coach, we should do this instead. And we adjust. He makes things happen like that. Or he could just do it all himself on the court where he sees things happen. He cleans up a lot of mistakes. I think we missed that a lot from him. And he pushes the pace. When things aren't going right, we can't score. He pushes it, gets guys open shots, and guys different looks. Now, as far as pushing the pace, that's a video that I just put up from practice today where Steve and Looney talked about that. Uh, Steve said, oh, we're walking the ball up the court. we got to do better than that. So go check that out. And it's also on our website right here in this particular article but i'll get to that in a moment before we get there let's replay uh this chris paul announcement so a little bit of news here by chris paul assuming this uh loads up right yeah we go turn on the volume we see you tip off at mohegan sun i'd like to thank our host at mohegan sun for helping us provide this opportunity into the naismith basketball hall of fame for its partnership on this tournament with my family foundation. I'll just pause it right there because I want to finish up. We're approaching 15 minutes and I got to go and upload and get ready for the OKC game. But Chris Paul, he does so much on the side in terms of his uh, foundation. I don't know if you guys know. So he's sponsoring an HBCU tournament with the Hall of Fame, the Basketball Hall of Fame. Kudos to the UCP. Now, Here's our website. Let's go Warriors in the latest article. I did some time stamping and I did some quotes from Bob Myers with Tim Kawakami. Great, great interview. You should check it out. I always I always go at two times speed and then I slow down when the fun parts uh, hit and uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So go check that out. All right. And then, and there's even a link to the Spotify right there, which I'm sure Tim Kawakami loves that I embedded that. I mean, truly, like that helps him out. Now, there's an article out there right now by Michael Scotto. Love this guy. 
but he should stick to uh, contracts and stuff, which he's an expert on. Uh, he polled 35 media members on what's the best arena. Chase came in fourth. But here's the problem. And I've been a media person at pretty much all of these arenas. The only one I've not been to is like Memphis. Um, you're asking media people. The experience is totally different than a fan. Trust me, like Celtics, I get why he picked Celtics number one. The media seats for the Celtics, awesome, awesome. Um, Chase isn't that great for media, but then again, it's a great experience because you get to walk through the tunnel and all of that. Um, it's well arranged, well architected. Madison Square Garden is an experience. So I get this, but it's not really from a fan standpoint. And crypto.com arena, I mean, yeah, if you're a media member sitting in the like the fifth row baseline, those are some awesome seats for media people. Me, I used to sit up in the nosebleed media secondary section. But anyways, so take this with a grain of salt. You should have seen this on Twitter. People were like, oh, it should be Sacramento, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, guys, he pulled media members. Just chill. All right. Here's one that's crazy. LaMelo Ball must cover LF tattoo. Now, I, I don't know what LF means off the top of my head. His clothing brand, I mean, you can't even see it. It's under his ear. Ridiculous. I thought I thought we've already been through this. Remember Allen Iverson? I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. But, hey, the NBA is going to NBA. That's what they do. All right, next one up. Uh, Podcast P, I'm going to leave this silent for now because I'm not sure of copyright restrictions or what whatnot, but check it out. Um, he played with Monte Ellis, and they. I, I just thought it was funny that Paul, uh, Paul George called him country dude. So it, it brought back memories of Monte Ellis from Mississippi, Warriors great, number eight back in the day. And then this one is um, Tyron Lue. This is our last one, then I'll go. Tyron Lue said uh, when the Harden trade happened, Steve said, oh, my God, it's going to be crazy because, you know, Tyron Lou and Steve are close now because they both coached for Team USA. So I want to end with that sort of dipping into NBA news here. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to go right now because it's time to get ready for uh, for the show, man. It's time to get ready for OKC Warriors Part 2 with Steph coming back. So hope to see you on the live stream. And just, I guess, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these. I appreciate you. Take care.